I... What is this place? Where am I? It's so... green. This cliff doesn't seem to be that high. I guess there might be a way for me to go up easily. Uh, I hope so. Oh, great. A river. And I'm not the best swimmer. A radio? Oh, there's no signal here. It also seems to read those old cassettes, but there's none inside. Hello, John. My name is Dr. James Richards, and this is Dr. Calame. Hello, John. If you are hearing this, it means that the initial procedure went perfectly. We have linked your mind to the dream of a man named Luke Williams. As for your body, it is being kept safe, here, close to us. Luke has been diagnosed with severe depression. We have attempted several incursions into his dreams, but he has always detected our presence, cleaned our intentions and evaded us. The roots of his current state of depression are buried quite deep. This is where you come in, John. You see, you volunteered to help us with this one. We need to remind you that your own memories are inaccessible during the entire operation. It means that you won't remember who you are, nor recall these events after it all ends. But, whatever you do or do not remember, know this. We accepted your offer because you are the best in the field. John, your job is to track Luke and liberate him from whatever oppressive thought is weighing down on him. Set him free, John. You don't have much time. The longer he stays under, the easier it will be for him to fade away. Time to get to work, John. You are his last hope. And his only one. I would wish you luck, but I doubt you need any of it. We'll be monitoring you closely and retract you instantly if the situation spirals out of control. One last thing. We will be out of contact for the duration of your mission. The technology is not quite fully mature yet. Right then. See you in a couple of hours. Hmm? I? What? What's happening here? What are you talking about? Wait, what the... What in God's name is going on? Whoa! Hello. Oh, good evening. Isn't it a little late for someone your age to be out all alone? Oh, our house is right over there. And you know, there are no dangerous creatures. Not in these woods. No wolves, bears, or even foxes. And my dad is right there at the porch. Oh, I didn't know anyone lived this deep in the woods. Oh, but we don't. This is our vacation house. Mom and Dad built it a couple of years ago. I love it out here, but... I had no idea there were other houses around. Where is yours? Well, I don't live here. I'm uh, on a hike. Oh, cool. All by yourself? All by myself. Where's your equipment? Well, my tent's ten minutes away. I was just exploring. I so wish to grow up so I can have fun adventures like yours. Well, what about you? What are you doing here, all alone, sitting on this wooden swing? Oh, you know, I love sitting here. 
My daddy and I built it. He attached these ropes to a branch on this tree and told me to find a wooden seat. I found this one by the waterfall. It fit perfectly. It was such a fun weekend. I love building stuff with my dad, and this is my favorite construction. Well, congratulations. You did a wonderful job. It really looks well built and fun. Thanks. So you're just watching the stars on your spot? Yes. Well, and you know, waiting for Rufus. Rufus? Yes, you know, my dog. My parents gave him for Christmas two years ago. He's so lovely and little and energetic. Oh, and uh, where's Rufus now? Oh, he sometimes wanders off by himself in the woods. You know, these woods are very, very safe. We put some lights around his collar, so he got even more excited than usual. Aren't you worried he might get lost? No. I mean, maybe a little. It's been more than an hour, I think. Can, can I ask you a big favor? Could you please get him back here if you happen to see him? Well, shouldn't you be telling your dad to go looking for him? Oh, but he'd get so mad. Please, if you talk to him, don't say anything about Rufus. I won't. Don't worry, I'll do my best. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But if I'm not able to find him... Yes, I guess I'll have to tell him. Thanks. Hello, neighbor. Oh, my, I, hello there. Sorry, I, I haven't seen anyone hereabouts in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and for coming out of nowhere straight from the dark. I'm John Stevens. I'm really sorry to uh, trouble you at this hour, but my, uh, uh, my wife, uh, she cut her finger while cooking. Oh dear. Yeah, well fortunately it's nothing serious, but uh, the other night she mentioned seeing some lights. Uh, they seem to be from over here, so I came along to see if there was anyone around. <laughs> and here you are. I wasn't aware that there were other houses in the neighbourhood. Well, sorry, but we're out of plasters. Used the last one yesterday for our little Annie. Young kids. Always trying to climb up those giant trees. We can't protect our kids forever. Although as parents, we always try to. Uh, we do have a medicine box with the rest of the stuff, if you want. Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Uh, she just needed something to cover the wound externally. It's not critical, but, uh, but thanks very much. Not at all. I'm Luke Williams, by the way. Very nice to meet you. Oh, likewise. Well, I should be heading back home. Hey, do you want to have dinner with us tomorrow? I'm sure Rita would love to. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. We'd like that. Let me talk to the missus and we'll, uh, we'll let you both know. See you tomorrow. It's so dark there. Oh, no way I'm going that way. Did you see him? No, not yet. Oh no! Don't worry, I'll get back out there. And I will find Rufus. Please hurry, I'm getting very scared.
My, that is a huge waterfall. It's indeed beautiful, but, but the noise this close is slightly unpleasant. Rufus, there you are. Oh, you're shaking. Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, you're really afraid of me, aren't you? Oh, okay. How will I get you out of there? Uh-oh. This rock is very unstable. If it falls, I'll crush that little devil. Careful, John. I really shouldn't leave without the dog. I need to explore this area. Think, John, think. <laughs> 